and welcome! Today we're going to have a look at my Bonio Python Morrigan. Last time we saw Morrigan I showed you how I did a top setup for her. Uh, that setup was a little bit small but it worked perfectly fine for her at the time. It made sure that she felt safe, she had everything she needed in there and it really helped me establish this very good feeding habit with her. So now she eats every time I offer her. Which of course is fantastic and that's one thing we like as a snake owner. As you may have seen on Instagram, I did move her into an even bigger tub and I tried to decorate it really nicely. I've also put in some live plants. So far the plants are still alive, which is very good because I don't know why I'm just not capable of keeping plants alive inside a terrarium. Outside no problem, but inside pfft, die right away. But today we're going to have a look at Morrigan to see how big she's grown. She's really grown a lot. I'm so thrilled to show her to you. We're gonna have a look at the setup. I'm gonna explain a little bit what I've done and how it's working and then we're gonna try to feed her if she wants to of course. Enough chit chat, let's have a look at beautiful Morrigan. Alright guys, so this is Morrigan's setup and as you can see it's still looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if this plant is alive or not, uh, there is still some green left, not sure. This plant is alive, doing fine and this plant here is alive and this, is, this plant is doing very very well. It's gotten a lot bigger since uh, the time where I put it in. Everything else here seems to be looking great as well. Bonio pythons, they really do require quite a high amount of humidity. They really need everything to be like gooey and wet and blah. <laughs> and you know, and as you can see, it really, really is. And as you can see here on the lid, it's uh, wet also, so it seems to be working. Everything seems to be all wet, damp and gooey. That's perfect. Over here is one hide, that's the hide in the cold end. Morrigan, she really doesn't use that. I haven't seen her using it. Uh, of course, I check on her once every day. It's either in the morning or in the evening. And um, let's see if she's home. Usually she's down underneath here. So let's have a look. Oop, we were lucky. Hello, pretty girl. Come on out. There she is. How beautiful is this girl? And she's grown a lot too. Morrigan, she has this beautiful uh, ankh, I think it's called, she has this beautiful ankh symbol on the top of her head, which was also really the reason why I chose her, I just fell in love with her. I found Morrigan on a reptile expo, she was for sale with all her brothers and sisters, and there was around 10, 12, I think, Borneo pythons, but when I saw her, I just had no doubt that she was the one that I wanted to take home. She is really, really growing, as you can see, both in length, but also in size. Borneo pythons, or blood pythons in general, they really do get this uh, massive body, like they get really, really heavy. Uh, so far, Morrigan, she's still quite slim, I think, uh, but she's growing so nicely, very, very nicely. She's so gorgeous, absolutely. Borneo pythons, in general, they do best uh, when they're on the ground. They don't do that well up in branches. You very rarely see them climb, So, which is also why that this tub will do just fine for her. She doesn't really need that much height. She just needs a lot of uh, area surface, or what you say. She needs a lot of width. But as you can see, this entire setup, is very very fine for her look at how stunning she is I have never seen it done that before. 
She usually has the meanest try. That was just, that was adorable. Alright, we're just gonna leave her here too. Alright guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how do you house your snake. Please write it right down in the comment section. Write uh, what snake it is. Is it a corn snake, a bull python and so on. And how do you house them? Is it a terrarium, a tub or whatever? I would absolutely love to know. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!